Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Starflight. Alright, I'm b back at the Trade Depot. Let's go ahead and uh, scan some things. Picked up a uh, dodecahedron. So let's scan that. Yeah, that's fine. This is some sort of transmitter. It is broadcasting continually on several bands. The net effect should be that it will attract the attention of anyone in the area. So this will increase encounters, which is good and bad. Um, it means that you will get encounters when you want them, but it also means that you won't, you will get encounters when you don't want them. So, yeah. Uh, we picked up a bladed toy. Scan that. Analysis of this artifact has revealed very little of interest. It has slight value as an alien curio, but otherwise is totally useless to us. Uh, of course it is. Uh, a blue bauble. Same thing. Uh, Mobius device, and same thing. Uh, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. Uh, have not picked up any more aluminum. Chromium, we can sell. Sell all of that. Cobalt, I'll keep. Copper, I picked up a little bit. Uh, not going to sell the endurium. Picked up a little bit of gold. Ooh, too much iron, too much lead. Some magnesium, which sells for an okay amount. Molybdenum, I believe I want to keep 25, so let's go with no, 28, sell, there we go. Tons and tons of nickel, let's go ahead and sell that, sell all of that. Uh, did not get any promethium, I did get a lot of rhodium, so that's pretty nice. There we go, uh, got some titanium, let's go ahead and sell the zinc first. Uh, titanium, I'm going to want to, to sell 20, 21.14, uh, there we go. Uh, we're keeping the winding orb, we're keeping the dodecahedron, let's go ahead and sell the bladed toy, it's not worth hardly anything, the blue bauble is worth hardly nothing. Mobius device, also not really worth much. Plastic thingamajig, not worth a whole lot. Uh, some of the creatures are worth a fair bit. That's kind of nice. We've got a bilateral, sell that. Uh, another bilateral. Uh, pretty high value bilateral, but it was also pretty big. Uh, some more bilaterals. Uh, some tiny fungoids. A tiny plant-like. Some other things. Sell all of that. Okay. So, we have a fair bit. Uh, let's go ahead and buy Endurium. Uh, let's get 62. Okay, we're almost at 100, so that's that's pretty good. Um, but that's not enough uh, to upgrade our last weapons, and that's okay. Let's see if we can get anything for this planet we logged. Recommendation 1, uh, Orbit 5, 118, 146. Evaluation. This planet proved to be suitable for colonization. You have earned a bonus of 35,000 MUs for this recommendation. Okay, we have a new message. Uh, 10 to 4620, one of our ships has reported that the Thryn have offered to buy artifacts from them at inflated rates. We urge you not to do this. Inasmuch as it may further relations with them, this is understand... Uh, uh, well, in as much as it may further relations with them, it, this is understandable, but we do not wish to sacrifice what might be able... what we might be able to learn from these artifacts. Also, I don't think you can actually sell anything to them. So, no more messages there. Did we actually get... Let's actually go here. No. Okay, so... Maybe it's just this version of the game where I'm just not getting the money for these things? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and return to our ship. Because I think I know where Saul is. I think we can visit Earth. So if we go to, not science officer, navigator, Ashley, pull up the star map, please. Okay, so, um... Let's 
we are looking for the Pythagoras constellation. And the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared when it comes to right triangles. So we have a right triangle formation there. So I think I think Earth is going to be in one of those systems. Uh, what I want to do first, however, is pay another visit to the Meccan, see if we can get some more information out of them, uh, which is going to be over here. So we'll take this uh, jump. And then uh, we're just going to be flying like across the, the space to this, because there's a, a flux that leads right down here. And I believe this is the Staff Constellation. There might be some interesting things there as well. So let's go ahead and uh, launch fighters. I don't know why I'm not getting money for the, uh, the planets. Could be a bug in this version of the game. Like I said, I don't know. I didn't really do research on this version of the game. I just decided to... Uh, play it, so who knows? Let's go ahead and leave orbit. Alright, we are going to want to go a little bit this way, so let's go. That is what I want to start with. There we go. Hello! Communications, hail, friendly. What do you require, Group 9? Uh, statement. There's a lot we can learn from each other. Our data banks are at your disposal. Let's see if you continue to say the same thing. We have waited long for you, Group 9. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get some more information about them. Our instructions were to patrol the area within eight sectors of the Heaven system and repel any invaders after Heaven was established. Oops, I should have gone... Yep, nope, alright. I guess yes, we'll leave. Alright, if I go into one of these, uh... I should encounter them when I uh, come out of orbit. No. Guys. There we go. There we go. Let's keep asking about themselves. Initially, heaven was only marginally habitable. It was necessary to completely terraform it and engineer suitable biota. Ah, crap. Keep doing that. Since our establishment here, we have been attacked 14 times. Twice it has been necessary to retreat underground and rebuild ourselves. Project Noah was a final attempt of the Institute to ensure the survival of the Empire and the human species. That is why the Noah colonies are all underground. The colony world of heaven, the fourth planet, has a capacity to support several hundred thousand colonists. It awaits you. Oh, I know. I've I've talked about it. Themselves. Uh, I think we uh, already got that. Go ahead and leave. But if I... Navigator, leave orbit. It's not L. What? Is, where does the L go then? O? Yeah, okay, O works. Nope, alright. Hmm. Mechans, where are you? Thought I'd get that every time I left uh, orbit. What 
if I keep coming back. There we go. All right, communications, hail, be friendly. Uh, tell us about other races. In the year 3000, when the Numlocks and the Phlegmac attacked the Empire, the Spemen begged for protection despite their declaration of war in 2790. Protection was granted. At the end of the attack, the Spemen again turned on the Empire. Other races. In the year 3400, the second wave attacked the Empire. For the second time, the Spemen pleaded for protection. When the Empire did not grant it, the Spemen allied with the Gazertoid. Okay, well... Other races. The Spemen's technology is inferior since they only copy from other races. In spite of this, they are numerous because they build their ships out of. So, one thing that we're kind of gathering is that the Spemen are... Um, a little bit cowardly, but uh, an opportunistic and uh, conniving. Out of cheap materials and produce, reproduce at an astonishing rate. In the year 4410, we had an encounter with a Spemin ship. It threatened us and then fled. The Velox were the first race encountered by the Empire. This was in 2300. There were minor skirmishes with the Velox between 2300 and 2400 until the Human Velox Treaty was finally signed. The Elohan are plant-like creatures which were at first believed to not be sentient due to the de deprecations of their enemies, the Thryn. The Thryn concern themselves only with matters of import. In the Empire, they generally filled the niches of ambassadors, diplomats, and spies. The Elohan have a reputation as creative thinkers. In the Empire, they were generally artists, philosophers, and theoretical scientists. Interesting. The Thryn and Elohan were discovered on different planets in a K-class system with five planets downspin of here. Okay, so... Um, K-class. I need to look to see which one that is. And that is five planets. Uh, Thryn and Elowin. All right, we we'll want to go look for that. Uh, let's see, K class. What uh, what color is that? Kind of want to say that that's like the red ones. No, orange. Okay. So we may take a look, see if we can find that one. The Thryns had a more advanced technology and often attacked the Elowan planet. Other races? The Ulek passed through this region, moving outward over 1,000 years ago. Their last ship was seen in 3603. Fortunately, they did not find heaven. Hmm, sounds like they would probably have done something bad to it. We lost four of our ships to one Ulek ship in 34, 3540. They possess powerful weapons. Well, that's not good. <sighs> Even counter, yes. Okay, let's, uh, navigator, leave orbit. Let's go enter orbit of another planet. Doesn't take any fuel to uh, wander around here, so that's that's nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Navigator, leave orbit. Oh. Yes. There we go. Communications. Hail. Uh, friendly. Question. What can you tell us about other races again? The Gazertoid are many tentacled aquatic creatures who live in tremendous colony ships. The Gazertoid pass through this region following the Ulek. They are dangerous enemies of the Empire. 
The spamming were discovered in System 82148 in 2675. Alright, so... The Spemmon home system is probably still there. 82148. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. They were in a pre-technological state. The Empire put a lot of effort into teaching the Spemmon their science and technology. All groups, organizations, and governments of the Spemen are preceded by SS. This stands for the Secret Society of... We do not know why. <laughs> Whoops. Other races. In the year 3000, when the Numlox and Phlegmac attacked the Empire, the Spemen begged for protection. Uh, okay, well, we have heard that. Let's see if they get... This is continued. Yeah, okay, this is a... Uh... Rotating. I kind of thought that would just be like one thing rather than having to do it this way. There is insufficient data in this vessel's computer on the subject. Is that it? Yep, alright. Uh, the Ancients. Now terminating communications. Fine. Now, unfortunately, movement in here is really slow because I actually... Uh, uh, decided to try refusing the Vilox uh, uh, demand for uh, crystals, and it did not go well. They destroyed me. And I'm pretty sure it's it was basically because... I mean, I didn't have my shields up. That was part of the problem. Uh, just like the, the... That part of it is just really slow, and I don't know why. I'm using, like... Um, An Amiga 4000, I think, uh, for the emulator, which I would have thought would work a lot better, but I don't know. All right, let's go pay a visit to another planet. Navigator orbit. There we go. There we go. Communications, hail them, and we will be friendly again. Question, general info. When we left Earth, the Institute was studying Sol for anomalous radiation emissions. General info. Sol is, of course, in the Pythagoras constellation. Earth did most of its mining on mineral-rich Mordan, Mardan 4, also in Pythagoras. All right, so that's probably one of the other ones around there. General info. The Institute has a Starflight research station at the center of the North Pole on Mars. The first NOAA mission, NOAA 1, failed because a ring device malfunction resulted in an inability to identify continuum fluxes. Ooh, so if we can get a ring device, that would be uh, pretty useful. We have found evidence of Empire ruins at 28 north by 4 east on one of the planets in the nearby Class G system. Okay, that I already have, I believe. Uh, so Class G is... Yellow. So nearby... Yeah, okay, that is definitely that, that system directly north of me. All right. But it is guarded by a drone. So that's, uh, that's worrying. Question, general info. The Institute was a society of scientists and other intellectuals convinced of the Empire's impending destruction. The Institute discovered an increase in the instability of stars coreward. I think we heard about that. Yeah, all right. Uh, statement? Leave encounter, yes. All right, so I don't think we want to try going to that, uh, um, that one system to the north yet. Uh, but I think we know where the uh, Pythagoras system is. I'm not sure if there's a good 
really good way to get there, though. Um, not really seeing any great flux jumps that would take us there. All right, communications, hail, friendly. See you guys again. Let's just terminate. Leave encounter, yes. There we go. Let's go ahead and we're just going to go head this way for now. Star map. Okay, so we're here. Uh, we're going to need to cross over this. We want to get up here. So maybe we should head up a little bit and uh, try to hit this, uh, this green star. Or just go up this way and see what we find. We're not in anyone's space at the moment, so that's not too bad. Star map. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's pay a visit to this star. There's a lot of worlds here. There's a water world. Uh, there is motion detected, which uh, does worry me a little bit. All right, sensors, lots of minerals, uh, chlorine compounds, hydrosphere of oxygen, rhodium, magnesium, and copper. Uh, 0.46 Gs, frozen, very thin atmosphere, subarctic to arctic, no global weather. I don't think we care about this one right now. Let's go ahead and leave orbit. I'm very curious about this one, unidentified object. Okay, science officer, sensors. What do we got? I think these are VLOX. Analysis, they are scouts. Okay, communications, let's hail them. Yep. Respond, obsequious. Yeah, three Arth energy. Yes. Uh, is the you aliens in our Zivilok space search for most precious energy crystals of ancients? Uh, no, and we're not in your space. This is outside of your space. Okay. I'm not looking forward to eventual, uh combat in this game. More unidentified objects. Uh, hail? Friendly? Respond. 22? Uh-oh. Uh... No? 11. Eleven is a prime. Yes? Permission to orbit denied. Oh, God. Okay. Um, maybe this is the planet that they were talking about? The Meccans? Because that's, that's a drone. Where are we? We are at uh, 163.19. Let's make a note that there's a drone here. Because we need to figure out what, what we need to answer them. thought maybe uh, prime, no, you know, responding to prime numbers would be good, but apparently not. 163 by 119. Okay. This is just outside their space. Hmm. Um, communications, hail. Be obsequious to these guys. We are most valiant and wonderful drones of Loxy Empire, Grand Lovely. Now we are doing the communicating activity with inferior aliens, a trespass. Yes, three Arth energy, yes.
terminate. Let's get out of here. It's very, very slow. I don't know why it's so slow. Come on, let me go. All right, let's get out of the system then. Uh, Ashley, pull up the star map again. All right, there's another uh, yellow star there, but there's also a white star there. Slightly unstable. There is just one planet. Orbit the planet, sure. Not much in the way of minerals. Fluorine, chlorine, atmosphere, water, hydrosphere, mercury, magnesium, and tin, lithosphere. Uh, orbit number five. Surface rock, 3.65 Gs. Very thick atmosphere. Uh, Arctic to tropical temperature. Extremely violent. Yeah, I don't think we care about this one. Navigator, take us away. Okay. We're pretty close to this one. Let's go check that out. This just has gas giants, so forget that. Okay, so we're close to um, this constellation. Oh, unidentified object. Science officer. Nancy, tell me what those are. An Enterprise? Okay, it has left us. That may be a joke. I don't know. It's very interesting. Uh, but we are close to this uh, staff constellation. At least we think it's a staff constellation. It would make sense. Orbit planet, yes. Oh, 32 uh, Arth days, unstable, uh, estimated uh, flare. Yeah, we probably don't want to be here. There's some biomass, uh, iron, silver, and silver, nitrogen and oxygen, water, hydrosphere. Uh, orbit number four. 2.5 Gs, frozen surface, thick atmosphere, violent global weather. Yeah, we don't want to do anything with this. Okay, well, we got 32 days. Orbit established. Let's go ahead and scan this one. 20 minerals, aluminum, plutonium, and iron. It's not bad. Chlorine compounds, oxygen. Orbit number 5, 0.95 Gs. Very thin atmosphere. It's calm, subarctic to arctic. Um, well, we heard that Mardan 4 was very mineral-rich, so we should probably, oops, not do anything with that. Let's go ahead and leave orbit. Nope. We'll check out this one next. Lots of minerals, though. Iron, promethium, and chromium. Carbon monoxide, hydrosphere, and atmosphere of none. Uh, frozen, 0.29 Gs. You know what? Let's go ahead and uh, land here. See if we can uh, pick some stuff up. Uh, select a site right around here. That seems good. Open viewport. No. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, there's a bit around. Some Promethium. Promethium is very valuable. Iron is not particularly vi valuable. Promethium. Some more iron. Iron. It's very disappointing. There isn't enough room here. Uh, 
I might be able to look at some of this stuff. Let's uh, let's try that. Look. Seven cubic meters of silver. Yeah, we want that. Right. Okay. That's four cubic meters of iron. What else do we have? Quite a bit down here. Iron. Chromium. Iron. Silver. Iron. Promethium. Okay, good stuff. Except for the iron. Promethium up there. Iron there. I'm going to avoid the iron, I think. Okay, there's some more down here. Promethium and Erodnium. It's good good stuff. Okay. Chromium, iron, promethium, and platinum. Okay, we are definitely gonna wanna come down here again. That's not all that interesting. Chromium, iron, iron, iron. Let's just go get this stuff. Uh, platinum and iron. Let's get the platinum. Mm, we're running out. Where was the, uh, there was some platinum around here. Yeah, let's just go grab this stuff. Oh, just got back there in time. Okay, disembark again, and probably the last uh, real run out here. What do we got? Promethium, iron, promethium, iron, and iron. I'll grab some of this stuff. I mean, something's better than nothing. That's just iron. That's iron. Okay. Uh, 58%. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, launch. Confirm launch. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and leave orbit. Nope. Okay, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and save it here. And when we come back, uh, well, I guess not quite, oh my lord. Um, communications, hail, friendly. Pull over. This is the Interstellar Corporate Police. You are under arrest. Drop all your all shields and disarm all weapons. You are in violation of intergalactic software law. Uh. Okay, buddy. Let's see your security code. Are you sure? Yes. All your assets at Starport have been seized. Your ship will be impounded. We have remotely disabled your engines. Any attempt at resistance will be met with force. Do you agree to come along peacefully? Yes, this is, uh, I mean, I never got an opportunity to, uh, answer a code, so I'm not sure why I'm getting this. This you would get for, um, putting the code in wrong. Well, that was not, that did not take long.
Uh, that is very odd. I don't know why I got that. It's a good thing that I saved the, the game there, though. Maybe. Uh, anyway, when we come back next time, we'll take a look at uh, this system and hope that uh, those guys don't come back again. I don't know why that happened, honestly. Um, I never had an opportunity to put in a code. Normally when you leave the uh, star base, you have to put in a code in the DOS version. I didn't have an option in the Amiga version. I thought they just took that out. I don't know. Anyway, when we come back next time, hopefully the police won't come after us again. See you next time, everyone.